What keeps fans glued to their screens waiting for that next big scoop? Whether it's announcing a blockbuster trade, a game-changing injury, or exclusive info, insider news drives the thrill of sports. But who are the top insiders and how do they get there? Welcome to FOS Explains. Today we're going to uncover the stories behind the biggest news breakers in the NBA and NFL. Adam Schefter is the go-to guy when it comes to breaking NFL news. He's been in the game for decades, and if you're an NFL fan, you've probably seen his name pop up countless times. But how did Shefty become the ultimate NFL news insider? In a way, it was on accident. Born in Valley Stream, New York, he grew up as a huge sports fan and went to college at the University of Michigan. There, he tried joining a frat, but he wasn't chosen. Then he tried going to the football and basketball teams, asking if they needed a water boy. They also said no. So to keep busy, he joined the school newspaper. He went on to thrive and later earned a master's degree in journalism at Northwestern University. His first job was at the Denver Post and he volunteered at the local NBC television station on weekends since he didn't know anyone in town. Eventually, he started dominating the Broncos beat for his newspaper, becoming so close with Broncos head coach Mike Shanahan that there were times that Shanahan asked Shefty for personnel advice. And in 2004, he was recruited to be the lead reporter for the newly launched NFL Network. Before the 2006 NFL Draft, Schefter reported that the Texans planned to use the number one pick on Mario Williams over Heisman Trophy winner Reggie Bush. And when it happened, that scoop put the network on the map as a major news-breaking outlet. Then in 2009, ESPN signed him as their NFL insider. Since then, Schefter has become a household name even for casual NFL fans, known for his scoops on trades, injury reports, and even coaching changes. Schefter's influence on NFL reporting is massive. Fans, players, and teams alike all trust him for his accurate and, you know, the most up-to-date information. Most of the time, breaking news on Twitter, and now X, before he even makes it to TV. When Schefter tweets or posts, it's like an alarm going off in the NFL world. Everyone stops and pays attention. He's broken some of the league's biggest stories. Tom Brady leaving the Patriots, Andrew Luck's surprise retirement, and so many more. Schefter's deep network of sources within the NFL is what makes it possible for him to break so many stories. Players, coaches, GMs, you name it, Schefter has built relationships across the board. His ability to maintain these connections means he often has information before anyone else does. It's why ESPN can trust him and why he's a staple on shows like NFL Countdown and SportsCenter, providing insight and analysis on every major shakeup in the league. So how does Schefter keep his edge? It's all about the hustle. Schefter is known for his relentless work ethic, constantly texting and calling sources to stay ahead of the game, even while he's on the shows. He's always on during events like the NFL Draft, where he's reporting breaking news live on air. Schefter's ex-presence is also a big part of his reporting style. With over 11 million followers, he has a massive platform to share news as soon as it breaks. Some insiders have called Schefter the best to ever do it, which is probably why his name came up when discussing who would replace Woj as ESPN's NBA insider. Ian Rappaport is a name every NFL fan should know. He's one of the most consistent and reliable sources of insider information in today's football, and he has the scoops to prove it. He broke the news that Devontae Adams was traded to the Jets while he was in the shower. But how did he get there? Rappaport studied history in college, and he originally planned on going to law school. But he enjoyed writing for his college paper so much that he decided to commit two years to journalism. And then he never went back. He started his career covering Mississippi State at a newspaper called the Clarion Ledger and eventually moved to Birmingham to cover Alabama football. There, he became one of the most widely read writers in college football. After three years there, he moved to cover the New England Patriots for the Boston Globe, a job that gave him his first sniff of the NFL world and where the NFL Network discovered him. In 2012, the NFL Network hired him as a field reporter based in Dallas, and just a year later, they had him move back to New York covering the entire league. 
Rappaport has reported on blockbuster trades and injury updates ever since, becoming one of the staples for shows like Good Morning Football. If you're a fan of NFL news, you know that Rappaport and Adam Schefter are the two top names in the business. These guys are like the Batman and Superman of NFL reporting, and both compete to see who can be the first to break the biggest stories. But for years, the NBA has had its own Batman versus Superman going on, and it starts with Woj. Known to many as the NBA's ultimate insider, Adrian Wojnarowski, aka Woj, has been known for his outstanding reporting in the basketball world. You've probably heard of the term Woj bomb. Whenever he posts on X, the whole basketball world stops to pay attention. But how did he rise to the top of NBA reporting? And why did he suddenly give it all up? Woj's road to becoming an NBA media superstar started long before his ESPN days. He started his career as a journalist at St. Bonaventure student newspaper, The Bona Venture. After college, he became a professional columnist for the Fresno Bee and then moved to New Jersey to write for a newspaper called The Record. But eventually, he made his way to Yahoo Sports. And that's where Woj really made a name for himself. In 2016, he started The Vertical, a project that revolutionized how NBA reporting was done. This was a dedicated platform for basketball, in depth with league news on trades, injuries, free agency updates, and Woj was at the heart of it. In 2017, ESPN brought Woj on board as their senior NBA insider. This move made waves as ESPN was acquiring the industry's top source for breaking news in the NBA. Since then, Woj has dominated the NBA reporting scene, becoming synonymous with insider scoops from draft night updates to blockbuster trades. The term Woj bomb has become a significant part of NBA culture, and for good reason. It refers to when Woj drops huge news, whether it's a trade, free agency signing, or injury, or any other big news. They always have fans and players refreshing their social media feeds. The scale of his influence is enormous. Teams and agents often rely on him to announce major deals. And sometimes he finds out about deals before the players himself. There's allegedly players that have found out they were traded through a tweet from Woj. There's tons of Woj bombs to choose from, but some of the most memorable ones are KD and Kyrie to Brooklyn, Anthony Davis to the Lakers, and then announcing the NBA suspended the season because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Woj's influence extended beyond scoops on X, though. He had his own podcast, The Woj Pod, where he interviewed players, coaches, and executives, giving fans in-depth insights into the NBA world. He showed up on ESPN shows like NBA Countdown, offering analysis beyond just breaking stories. But in September, Woj shocked the NBA world with one last Woj bomb. He announced his sudden retirement. Instead of breaking news, Woj was now becoming the general manager of the men's basketball program at his alma mater, St. Bonaventure. Woj told ESPN it was a thrill of a lifetime to be able to return to a university and community that he loves. But everyone else has said that Woj was just kind of tired of the constant grind of being an insider. His agent, Matt Kramer, said that Woj wasn't going to do something and not give 100%. So when it came down to giving it all or nothing, Woj walked away reportedly leaving halfway through his estimated five-year, $35 million contract. It ends his seven-year reign at ESPN, paving the way for the next generation's NBA insider, a mentee turned competitor named Shams Charania. Shams Charania, or Shams for short, was the main rival throughout Woj's career at ESPN. If Woj is the established veteran, Shams is the young challenger who's made a massive impact in just a short time. Shams started as an intern under Woj at Yahoo Sports, which helped shape his career. He quickly made a name for himself by showing a relentless work ethic and building his own network of sources. After Yahoo, he moved to the Athletic and Stadium, where his reporting continued to grow in influence. Despite his young age, he's only in his 30s, Shams has proven he can compete with the best. His rise is impressive considering how he went head to head with Woj, who had decades of experience. By breaking high profile stories, including free agency moves and draft night scoops, Shams has cemented himself as one of the top NBA insiders, often matching or beating Woj to the punch. 
Shams aggressive style and digital savvy approach distinguish him from Woj. While Woj's methods focused on deep-rooted relationships in the front office and with agents, Shams has built a strong social media presence and uses his direct connections with players to get information quickly. X has become his battleground, and with over 2 million followers, he's mastered the art of the quick scoop, knowing that speed is essential in today's media landscape. Shams is also really active on various platforms, including podcasts, video segments, and short-form social media bites, giving him a multi-dimensional presence that appeals to younger audiences. His ability to adapt quickly and his eagerness to build his brand beyond just X has made him a fan favorite and a worthy rival to Woj. Wojnarowski's decision to retire was unexpected. He's been a staple in sports journalism, breaking major stories and building a reputation as one of the top insiders in the NBA. With his retirement, Woj is ready to embrace a new phase in his career. He leaves behind a legacy that has set the bar incredibly high for sports insiders, especially in the NBA. So why did ESPN choose Shams to be Woj's successor then? Well, it's pretty simple. Shams has proven time and time again that he can compete at the highest level. For years, he was not just Woj's protege, but also his biggest rival, consistently breaking news and keeping fans on their toes. There were even points of NBA drafts and free agency periods where fans would just refresh X to see who could get the scoop first. But Shams Charania's new contract with ESPN has been a hot topic since he stepped into Adrian Wojnarowski's shoes as the network's senior NBA insider. Reports are saying that Tarano will earn less than half of Woj's estimated $7 million annual salary, a significant difference for someone who some feel was Woj's equal. ESPN's decision to hire Shams was a strategic move, not just for talent, but also in lieu of their recent cost-cutting history. While Woj was a dominant force in NBA reporting, Shams has quickly risen to almost an equal level, providing himself as a reliable source for breaking news. So why the pay gap then? ESPN is clearly navigating its budget while trying to keep its reputation intact in the evolving sports media landscape. But despite the lower salary, this opportunity marks a pivotal moment in Shams' career, as he steps into a position that he can potentially elevate his profile even further. Woj himself even endorsed Shams as his replacement, expressing his hopes for his former protege's success on a recent episode of The Jim Rome Show. This endorsement highlights the respect Tarania has earned in the industry and suggests that he might well be worth every dollar of any future salary increase. In a nutshell, Shams' paycheck may not match Woj's right now, but his potential impact at ESPN could lead to a bigger payday down the road. So what does this mean for the future of NBA reporting? Well, with Shams at the helm, we can expect some exciting changes, at least at ESPN. He's now the face of ESPN's NBA breaking news coverage, and he's got the chance to redefine what insider NBA reporting looks like. And at the very least, he's already changed the way you'll see breaking news on ESPN social. But can he live up to Woj's legacy? That's the big question. What do you think? Are you excited about this shift? Let us know your thoughts below, and don't forget to subscribe for more on the business of sports.